Waitress fired for making Governor wear mask, so she gets revenge. Karina can feel her cheeks go as red as an overripe tomato. How could he do this to her? She didn't deserve this. No way. She was just doing her job. Everybody in the bar needed to wear a face mask, which included the rude governor that stood before her. Karina stands soaked in embarrassment, but then suddenly, she can feel fire in her stomach. There was no way she was going to let him get away with this. Governor or no governor, he was going to get exactly what was coming to him. Karina Montana's had big dreams. And being a waitress at her local sports bar for the rest of her life wasn't one of them. She had been a waitress for two years, and with every dollar she earned she put towards her lifelong goal of moving to New York. But now, somebody was trying to undo all of Karina's hard work and was about to turn her world upside down. But little did they know that Karina was going to have the last laugh. Although eager to leave and move to the Big Apple, Karina didn't hate her job, her colleagues were nice, and the pay was pretty good. It's just that Karina knew she was destined for more than just dishing out people's food and drinks. But when Karina started her shift on a cold morning in autumn, she had no idea it would be her last. It was a cold and dark morning in autumn when Karina dragged herself out of her bed and got ready for work. She tied her hair up, slipped on her uniform, and headed out the door. With every step she took on her walk to work, Karina thought it was just going to be an ordinary day. But she was so wrong. With COVID-19 restrictions in place at Karina's workplace, all customers dining inside had to wear a face mask. So far, everybody seemed to abide by the rules, which made Karina's job a lot easier. But this friendly waitress had no idea that one customer was about to make her job incredibly hard. Karina arrived at work and clocked in. She greeted her colleagues and made herself a fresh cup of coffee. She glanced over at the clock on the wall and she rolled her eyes. Today was going to be a long day, Karina could just feel it. But she never could have expected her day to end in tears, rage, and humiliation. Karina had a full nine-hour shift ahead of her, which meant she'd be around for the hustle and bustle of the night shift later on tonight. Already, Karina wished she was back in her bed. She took a sip of her coffee, fastened her apron, put her face mask on, and headed out to greet her first customer of the day. Little did she know what was coming. Karina had been working for a solid six hours now, and although the sun started to set outside, that didn't stop the bar from getting busier. Just as she finished taking an order from an elderly couple, she noticed a man walk through the door. Karina didn't know it at the time, but his man was about to tear her world in two. Once the man was settled in the corner of the room, Katrina could get a closer look at him. He was with a few other people, and they seemed pretty dressed up for the bar. Were they not from around here? They looked out of place compared to the jeans and sneakers everybody else in the bar was wearing. Then suddenly, it dawned on Katrina just who this man was. It was the governor of her hometown. Karina felt nervous, after all, he was pretty much a celebrity, right? She slowly made her way over to his table to take his order. Suddenly, Karina remembered something truly terrible about this governor that stopped her cold. You see, Karina remembered watching her local news station the night before, and it was announced that this governor at the bar was supposed to quarantining after being in contact with many people. But as Karina got closer to his table, she saw something that got her blood boiling. Karina noticed the man and a few other people that were with him weren't wearing a mask. Excuse me, she said, can you put your mask on please? Indicating to the sign on the wall. Karina expected him to merely apologize and strap on his mask. But instead, what he replied left Karina lost for words. No I won't, he bluntly replied, his tone condescending and authoritative. Karina stood frozen in her tracks while a roar of laughter from the governor's group echoed throughout the busy bar. They all looked at Karina, giggling at her. Karina could feel her face go as red as a tomato. She knew that wearing a mask was mandatory. And the governor shouldn't even be here. But what was she going to do about it, Karina could feel her embarrassment turn into rage. Why did he think he was exempt from the rules? Not only was he breaking the law, but he was also putting everybody else in danger. With her blood boiling, Karina shouted to the governor, sir you need one, it's the law. But the governor looked at Karina and muttered five words that shook Karina's world. You've made a big mistake, he said. Within a few minutes, the governor jumped up from the table and raced over to the bar, shouting out where's the manager. I need to see the manager. Karina watched her manager talk to the governor and then he pointed straight at Karina. Karina knew what was coming, but she wouldn't dare to admit it. Karina watched her manager and the governor make their way over and Karina's heart skipped a beat. Not only did she feel sick to her stomach, but she couldn't believe how rude the governor had been to her. In a state of panic, Karina knew exactly what to do. As her manager and the grumpy governor approached, she secretly got out her phone and pressed record. Straight away the manager apologized to the governor while side-eyeing Karina like she was gum on his shoe. She can be a handful, the manager said, to which Karina felt fire in her stomach. 
Karina wished the ground would just swallow her whole. She didn't deserve this, she was only doing her job. But she had no idea what was coming next. The governor showed no signs of slowing down when it came to shouting at Karina, he called her an idiot waitress and completely useless. She never expected to hear this, especially from her very own governor, Karina could feel her emotions take over, but little did this governor know that this useless waitress had been secretly recording their entire conversation. The manager had no other option but to fire Karina right there on the spot. As soon as Karina heard her manager say you're fired, she felt her blood boil even more now. She looked at the governor and she could see the delight in his face, with a smile, slapped across his cheeks. But Karina knew she wasn't going to let them get away with this. No way. After clearing out her locker, Karina headed home with revenge on her mind. She left the bar, leaving behind two years of hard work and commitment. She got to the end of the street, turned around for one last look, and saw the governor through the window. He waved goodbye, which only fueled Karina's desire for revenge even more. He had no idea what was coming to him. Once Karina got back home, still reeling from the events of the day, she opened her laptop and started typing. Hey guys, look at our governor who doesn't want to put on a mask. Look how he's acting during this pandemic, while nurses are literally begging him for help. Once she finished typing, she attached the secretly recorded footage of the governor and posted it online. She took a deep breath before shutting her laptop and running herself a much-needed bath. But Karina was never expecting the response she got. Karina woke up the following day to see that her post had gone viral. Thousands of people, all across the globe, had expressed their sympathy for Karina and their disgust at the governor. But, Jade knew that merely online naming and shaming the governor wasn't going to be enough to satisfy her. She had to go bigger. Karina decided to write a formal complaint to the governor in hopes his job and career would be jeopardized. After all, Karina had done nothing wrong. It was the governor that essentially broke the law and put everybody at risk. He should have been self-isolating, but instead, he was out partying in a room of crowded people. But what about Karina, fresh from being fired, what was she now going to do with her life? Karina saw her getting fired as a hidden blessing. Thankfully, she had managed to save enough up cash that would last her for at least a few months in New York. She waited for the bus to New York, ready for the new chapter in her life. In a way she had to thank the irresponsible governor, if he hadn't had got her fired, she wouldn't be moments away from achieving her long life dream.